In January 2024, Icon of the Seas, the largest cruise ship in the world, is scheduled to make its maiden voyage, with a length of 1,198 feet, that is, 365 meters. It has 20 decks and 7 pools, and it can accommodate almost 8,000 people, 5,610 passengers and 2,350 crew members. Cargo capacity The liner is 250,800 gross tons, which is almost 5 times more than those of the Titanic. Entertainment has also been taken care of here. Guests can visit the five-story open-air central park with live plants and a huge water park the largest on the water, admire the aqua dome with an almost 17-meter waterfall. More than 20 restaurants with a varied menu, as well as 15 bars and nightclubs will allow you to have a drink and a snack at any time. The liner will carry out seven-day trips from Miami to the eastern and western parts of the Caribbean. Not everyone can afford such a cruise. Sales opened in October 2022, and a ticket for one person cost about $1,537. Despite this price, the Royal Caribbean Group, which introduced the Icon of the Seas, said that the first day of sales was the most successful in terms of the number of bookings in the company's 53-year history. Users compare the Icon of the Seas not only with the Titanic, but also with the Titanic Bathyscaphe, all of whose passengers tragically died at the end of June this year. Anything as compared to the Titanic equals I will 100% stay away from it, say the most cautious. To some commentators, the photo of a huge bright liner reminded the central part of the triptych The Garden of Earthly Delights by Hieronymus Bosch. And while some think that James Cameron will turn Titanic into a trilogy, others imagine how the Netflix streaming service is fighting for the film rights to the film called Titanic 2, Icon of the Seas. In connection with the huge size of the vessel, Ever Given is remembered one of the largest container ships in the world, which ran aground in March 2021 and paralyzed traffic in the Suez Canal. This event spawned a large number of memes.